Hi, I'm Kim. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. I'm so excited to see you guys today. I think you will love this video. Something that is very important to me and one of the reasons I actually started my business was because I really felt a pull inside me to help women, to lift women and girls up. To me, styling is my gift that I've been given and I wanna use it to help lift up women and girls and teens. And I sort of have this bigger goal and it's a thread that actually has run all the way through my business. That's why you'll see on my Instagram, I put positive quotes. I do those things sort of day by day as I feel them, kind of as I feel connected and inspired. So I wanted to kind of give you the inspiration behind me and show you some of my favorite people that I love. The first quote I'm gonna read is from Tony Robbins. You know, I last week I had just watched Tony Robbins' movie on Netflix, I'm Not Your Guru. I have to admit, prior to that, I had lots of friends that um, really liked him. They read his books, they've gone to seminars, and I didn't really, um, I hadn't really dug in too deep into that. And after watching this movie, I was so moved by that man. He's been in the industry for 30 years, and I cried, I laughed, I was just blown away. So. I advise you all to watch it. He's someone new that I'm becoming acquainted with and I think he has a lot to offer. So one of the quotes from his movie actually, and it's something that I believe has started my whole business, is push will wear you out. So what this means is, is that if you're just pushing yourself to do something, it, you're eventually gonna get exhausted. So it has to come from somewhere bigger like it has to come from a pull. So for example, myself, I'm talented at styling, it's something that I'm good at, but I had a pull inside to do something bigger with that. And that has what is what motivates me. It's not easy to do what I do. Some days I'm tired, I start at five in the morning, I have three kids, I run full days, and I don't think I would be able to do what I do at all if I didn't have this inner fire, this inner pull to really reach out to as many of you as I can and lift you up in the different ways that I try to do it. I try to do it many different ways. Sometimes they're subtle, sometimes they're not. If I'm doing a video, I'm thinking about what is happening in your life at this time, what month is it, how can I help, what are simple things I can do that will make you feel better. And my hopes in doing all this, and I didn't even know that I was doing it, I'm just connecting the dots now as I go along, seeing what I've done in the past, my hopes have always been that what that would do is light you up. And if I lift you up and you feel good and you read one of my quotes one day and it inspires you, then maybe you're going to the gym and maybe you see someone at the gym and you light them up. And then they go home from the gym and they light up their partner or their kids and their kids help someone else in the playground. Like it really has this amazing effect. And I think that something so small can actually light up our whole world. And it's something that we really re need right now. So I happened to be on a boat this weekend and I was talking to a leader in the beauty industry. And I said to him, he was talking about his business because it's new. And I asked him, well, what is your greater goal? Like, what are you doing all this for besides financial gain? And he sort of looked at me with this blank look and he said, I actually haven't thought about that. And I, I thought it was really interesting. He pondered it and I said, well, dig deep and find out why you want to do what you do. Because if you have a greater reason, then I believe that you will just, your business will just flourish and grow because there's just something inside, you know, that you want to do for people. Do you want to help them feel beautiful by what you do? Do you want to, like, what do you want to do? There has to be something bigger. That all falls back to Tony Robbins quote, push will wear you out. It needs to be, you need to live your life with a pull. The second quote I have is see the light in others and treat them if that's all you see. That's from Wayne Dyer. For those of you who don't know Wayne Dyer, he actually died last year, it's very sad. He was an orphan until age 10 and lived in a orphanage in Detroit. And it just goes to show that those, that desire inside of him burned and he, through all his hardships, he just made it through and he became one of the world's leading motivational speakers. Um, and back to his quote, see the light in others and treat them if all, it's all you see. So, I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but I think it happens to us every day in, in small ways. I was at lunch with um, a bunch of women and one of them started to complain and just speak in a negative way. And I was just, I felt my energy sort of turn off and I was slightly irritated. And I started to like think in my head, like, mm, I don't really feel like being around her. And in my thoughts as she's talking, I'm like, I don't know if I'd choose to hang out with her. This is sort of like annoying conversation. I feel like she's really negative. And then I just had a moment, I was like, stop. 
She's a beautiful person. I really actually adore her. And I just need to see, I needed to look past her words and see where it was coming from. And it actually was coming from a place of hurt. And so it's just taking that moment and reaching in a little bit deeper. And then all of a sudden you can find the beauty in someone because everyone has beauty. She's not a negative person. It wasn't a negative situation. It was just she was feeling hurt and voicing it, and we all do that in a different way. So see the light in others and treat them if that's all you see. That's quote number two, and I highly advise you to try that one time when you're getting irritated. Number three, one of my favorite quotes is from Coco Chanel, who I believe most of us know. She was one of the most iconic female designers, and she started designing clothes post-World War I, and she sort of changed the face of fashion by freeing women from corsets and putting them in like a looser, more sporty, chic look. Um, she really sta stood independent and was a big driver and had tons of ambition. So one of her quotes um, that I love from her is, beauty begins the moment you begin to be yourself. And this is true, and it's really hard, it's really hard, I find, in this world to be yourself because we're influenced by so much around us, society, media, whatever, that says that we should be a certain way. But you just have to try and dig deep and just be who you are. Um, and whatever that is, like if you love wearing baseball hats and running shoes and heels are not for you, then don't try. If you have to go to a party, I had a client yesterday and she was going to a really fancy party and it was a bit intimidating for her and I said, listen, do you wear dresses? She's like, no, I never wear dresses. I'm like, do you wear heels? She's like, no, I never wear heels. It was a fancy party. I'm like, you know what? We're going to put you in some white skinny jeans, some flat shoes that are beautiful, that are gold, a white silk tank and some beautiful jewelry and you know what? That's who you are and you will look beautiful. She's going to go to the party, she's going to feel comfortable and she's going to be happy because she's not in some weird dress and some awkward heels. It's not, that's not her. So it doesn't just relate to fashion. I'm relating it to fashion because I'm a stylist and those are my experiences. But um, beauty is just being who you are as a person, sharing your thoughts, helping others. Um, anytime that you are yourself, you are shining through. So that's a really remarkable quote from Coco Chanel. Number four is from one of my faves, Oprah Winfrey. Boy, do I ever miss her being on TV. I remember her being on TV at four o'clock when I'm making dinner or when I was studying. I could always turn her on and listen to her in the background. This is one of the quotes from her. There is no greater gift you can receive than to honor your calling. It is why you were born and it is how you become truly alive. And so this actually also relates back to Tony Robbins talking about push and pull. Inside each of us is all born with a different calling. I personally believe mine, I'm here to light up other people around me. I'm a, I feel like I'm a ground worker. I'm here to light them up so that they can light up themselves and then other people. So I feel like that's my calling and I just utilize my gift, which is styling, in order to do that. I feel like I can help people dress up and feel good on the outside, which in turn really lights them up on the inside. So I'm using my gift to do that and it drives me every day. And so I encourage you to dig deep and find out what is it that you're really passionate about? What is it that lights you up? What is it that pulls you? And just do it. Like you don't need a website, you don't need a business card, you don't need training, you just start. That's what I did. When I came back into the fashion industry, I came back and I felt a little out of it and I just started. I just, everyone always asked me how I got started. I met a designer and he invited me to London Fashion Week and I came and I launched a product for him and at that product launch, I met lots of women and they liked my style and they wanted me to dress them. And so I was really afraid when I started. I thought like, I can't do this. I haven't done this in years. And then I realized that, okay, but I, I have done this. I can do this. And I just started no business card, no website and I just did it. And then one thing led to another. And so that's sort of how I ended up where I am today. So with relating to your calling, don't let lack of education or your ability to get an education formally stop you. If you just take your interest and start reading a little bit every day, over time you will really gain a lot of information in the field that you love or feel passionate about. And eventually that will lead you down the path that you need to go. My last quote that I want to leave you guys with is Steve Jobs. I feel like um, this is important because it relates back to everything I've been talking about. He says, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. 
So you have to somehow trust that the dots will connect in the future. So what that, that is a quote from actually a larger speech, and I'll put that in the link down below. But what he's talking about is you need to follow your heart and then trust that that success will, will follow. So basically, um, in my example, I just started, I knew I had this pull to help women and I knew that my talent to do that and to have the reach was through fashion. So I just started helping women and now as I've gone along and of course I've dressed celebrities, I've done many amazing things, I've got to go to the Emmys and I've just met beautiful people. Looking back, connecting those dots, I realize now that everything I was doing was leading me to this place. And this place is the place that being an expert in my field allows me to have a voice. And the reason I wanted to have a voice was because I really wanted to reach as many women as possible to lift you guys up and help you feel good about yourselves in the way that I know how. So those are my top favorite quotes. I am gonna continue on um, sharing these types of things when I feel motivated. I have to do it. I can only do this by instinct and when I feel passionately moved to do it. So they will pop up whenever I feel like that. Um, the last thing that I wanna leave you with is um, something that I got from a book and I'll leave the link to that book at the end. The book is actually called Light is the New Black. I was Googling something one day, reading on the topic, and this book by Rebecca Campbell came up, and I just loved it. It's called A Guide to Answering Your Soul's Callings and Working Your Light. I guess I could just kind of relate to it, and it was something that I felt was important. Anyway, I'll leave a link to this below. I highly suggest it. It's amazing. Um, but something that she talks about in one part of the book was having a, a life tagline. Condensing yourself down to a tagline, like, what do you want to share? Who are you and what do you stand for? And so I started to think about my own tagline and it's funny because for the longest time I've always signed everything like an X and an O and I, I do it like in business emails, I do it to friends, I do it, it's all the time. Like I'll be writing someone from a big corporation and I'll be like, no, 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 Kim, XO. And um, without really knowing to me, and I, and I tattooed XO actually on my wrist, I'll show you. And I actually had a girl write in and ask me what the tattoo represented. And I was like, I don't know. It's just kind of always been my tagline. And to me, X and O represents love. And I am so driven to show you guys um, love in the way that I know how in order to like help you light up your lives. And so that's um, my tagline. And I sort of, everything that I do, I run it back past my tagline XO. So if I'm doing something, I'm like, does this show love? Is this who I am? So I encourage you to find your tagline and then send it to me. Put it in the comments below. Send it to me on my Instagram. I want to know what yours is. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm so happy that you're here. If you like this video and you feel like it's important and you feel like it could give light to others, definitely share it across your social media. On my social media, like I said, I always post inspirational sayings and quotes. You might like that. So head over to my Instagram, which is styled by Kim XO. And um, tune in next week. I'm on every Thursday. Remember to subscribe and then I just show up in your box and we can hang. Thank you.